Hello there! In this video, we're gonna go ahead and hike up to the top of the Bear Mountain from Little Mollusk Lake. I tried to go up at it from the north approach yesterday, going right over there by Mineral Creek, but there's a bunch of moose, so. The Bear Mountain's one I've always wanted to hike because you can see it from 550 and Silverton. It's middle of October, so it definitely got cold and windy up there. Enjoy the video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for future content. Hit the bell to be notified when the video is released. Little mollus right there. I did this video for your information and education to hopefully give you a nice idea of what you're getting into when you get out here. So if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. And we've walked the Colorado Trail from Little Mollus to about where we're at here. Going west almost the whole time. And now we're gonna head north. So we're gonna stay on the Colorado Trail for a little bit longer until we make our cut towards Bear Mountain. Hey, so while you're out here, don't forget to practice the leave no trace principles and stay on the trail. I know there are some times where you have to kind of go off trail on that, but for the most part, you know, we try to do our best to stay on trail as often and as much as possible for sure. First real good glimpse at that Bear Mountain right there. You can really see it well from 550. Coming from the south here, from Little Mollus, it's a little more tucked away in there, but we'll get that view for you whenever we get up there. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. We're gonna go jump to this forest right here, right now. Hey, and shout out to the people who keep telling me to quit doing this. I'm not going to. <laughs> But do keep leaving me nasty comments because I find that really entertaining. It's pretty funny some of the stuff y'all come up with. I know you're the gatekeeper to the outdoors, but we firmly believe everyone has a right to go outside. And there's plenty of room for everyone. So I don't know who you think you are, but um, yeah. I'd rather go hiking on a little less maintained of a trail as opposed to like hiking up like ice lakes a million times you've already been there you've done that move on go to another spot you know same thing with like engineer mountain there's a lot of people there so get a map figure out which ones you want to hike and then figure your route thanks for watching this video again important that when you break off from the Colorado Trail here it's this it's not marked you got to know where it's at we're about 3.3 miles in to this spot and when you jump off the Colorado Trail now you're heading north to get up Bear Mountain oh look there's the Sultan Mountain right there Nice. Hey, Sultan. I usually don't get sketched out, but this forest in particular really sketched me out. Alright. We're walking into Putnam Basin now. Oh no, we're right here. Uh, Putnam Basin. So we could continue and go around a little further east and then hook back west. The idea for this segment is to follow the black route on the map as closely as possible. We're gonna just go up this hill right here, and then we'll be on top of the ridge. Let's go up here. It gets a little steep when you come out of the forest there, um, but we're just going up there. I found this little game trail 
and I'm gonna follow it. Use the tools that you got, you know? All right, so eventually, follow that little game trail. You get to this little creek bed. We're gonna follow it up a good ways. Okay, so we're kind of in the middle of this big uphill slope to get to the ridge. We took the creek all the way to where we're at right here. Sure. There's the game trail that I've been following, and now we're gonna go up the ridge here. Whammy, this is kind of cool. Top the ridge, very pretty. But you can see that cloud cover in the distance. First snowstorm of the year is in route. There's the golden horn, all in the ice lakes basin. In that, and there's the bear. Get up there and get down. Really, really windy. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, so I gotta spot out the wind real quick. It's cold, it's windy. But I wanna show you this. See, look, down in there, that's where the ice fire was. It looks like it was mostly on the Clear Lake Trail and it didn't really go into the Ice Lake Basin too much. But hell yeah, that's cool. Slick, I would definitely recommend wearing a helmet when you're getting up to the summit of this mountain. Uh, going down, they definitely had a bunch of rocks fall. I don't have any footage coming down because the camera froze, and so this is what we got. But definitely, I would suggest a helmet. Hey, uh, shit. We made it. We made it! Now the peak is right there. There's Silverton down there. Castle Mountain, way over there. All right, the official top. We're here on top of Bear Mountain. What a hike, great hike for sure. Over there we got the Sultan. We came from over there. So we're gonna be walking back that way. A lot of snow on the north faces yet. The reason I took the south route is because there wasn't as much snow, but beautiful, simply beautiful. You see down 550 right down here. That's going up to like Red Mountain Pass. Silverton going up that way. You can kind of see the top of Lucan Pagre and Wetterhorn over there. And then zooming back to where we started from. Hold on. Thanks again for joining us for this hike. I don't have any footage again going back down because the camera froze, but I ended up taking more so that blue route on the map. Uh, the wind got so ferocious up there, I literally had to cling on to the top of the ridge at one point just to stay stable and not get blown off the top of the ridge. So, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned, y'all. Here we go into the winter mode. <laughs>